Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today in this video lecture we are going to study about MEN syndrome which stands for multiple endocrinal neoplasia syndrome. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing it. I put videos on dentistry and dental related topics on this channel. And you can join me on Instagram and Facebook for daily image based questions. It will help you strengthen your concepts and revise the topics better. To get a free PDF of any of my video lectures, you can get it from my Telegram channel. So now any further ado, let's get started. Multiple endocrine neoplasia is characterized by the occurrence of tumor involving two or more endocrine glands within a single patient. Okay, so which endocrines are affected in this syndrome? Pituitary, thyroid, adrenal, particularly adrenal medulla, okay, and pancreas. Tumors in all four glands might occur in this syndrome okay and because of the tumor what will happen there would be overproduction of the hormones talking about pituitary there would be overproduction of prolactin okay which will lead to prolactinoma and in the thyroid there would be increased production of calcitonin basically medullary carcinoma of thyroid occurs with MEN syndrome so it is related with parafollicular cells and it will cause the increased calcitonin and with the parathyroid glands and with the parathyroid glands there would be increased parathormone okay and in the adrenal there would be increased catecholamines due to the tumor of adrenal medulla which is known as pheochromocytoma and with the pancreas there would be insulinoma okay so because of MEN syndrome, there would be overproduction of hormones of all these glands, okay, all these five glands. Pattern of inheritance of MEN syndrome is autosomal dominant, do remember this. And it can also be transmitted as spontaneous mutations, okay. Now guys, this slide is very very important. First of all, MEN syndrome is uh, classified into four types. According to the newer classification, this is MEN2, okay, and this is MEN3. But according to older classification, MEN2 was divided into two categories, 2A and 2B, okay. But the earlier MEN2B is now MEN3, okay, and MEN2A is now MEN2. So don't get confused, okay. MEN1 is also known as Wormer's syndrome, okay, and it includes 3P, which means parathyroid tumor, pituitary tumor, and pancreatic tumors because of menin mutation, okay. Menin is an amino acid, it acts as a scaffold protein, right, and menin ka function kya hai? It is, uh, it has its function in cell division and genome stability, okay? So, because of this menin mutation, men 1 arises. And guys, do note it down that gene which is causing MEN1 is located on chromosome 11Q13, okay? This can be asked in your MCQs. So, which chromosome? 11Q13 for MEN1, right? Moving to MEN2, which is commonly known as Sippel's syndrome, okay, and it has 2P, right, parathyroid tumor, pheochromocytoma, and medullary carcinoma of the thyroid, okay, which particularly involves parafollicular C cells, which secrete increased calcitonin, as I said, and MEN2 occurs due to the mutation of tyrosine kinase receptors, okay, and proto-oncogene RET has also role in MEN2. Coming to the MEN2B or MEN3, okay, it has medullary carcinoma of thyroid, pheochromocytoma and ganglioneuromatosis which is also known as mucosal neuromas okay it occurs due to the mutation in ret gene okay so guys you have to remember ki how this mutation occurs in all these three types what are its common names and which glands are involved in which syndrome okay in MEN4, which is also referred to as MEN-X, 
patient develop parathyroid and anterior pituitary tumor which may occur in association with tumors of the reproductive organs adrenals and kidneys so this is our easy mnemonic over here okay try to understand it this is our men 1 men 2 and men 3 so men 1 may what you have to remember 3 p's which stands for tumors of pancreas right tumors of pituitary and tumor of parathyroid now this tumor of parathyroid is common in men 2 as well okay so this p stands for parathyroid tumors m stands for medullary carcinoma of thyroid and this p which has been colored differently it stands for pheochromocytoma right which is a tumor of adrenal medulla coming to the men 3 it has same p and m which means pheochromocytoma and medullary carcinoma of thyroid is seen with men 3 plus there is additional m which stands for mucosal neuromas right clinical features bumpy lip appears due to mucosal neuromas mucosal neuromas are very much common with men 1 and 2 but with men 3 it is the typical peculiarity of men 3 mucosal neuromas right when medullary carcinoma of thyroid is present serum and urinary calcitonin levels are elevated as i said when pheochromocytoma is present there is an increase in the serum level of vma which stands for vanillyl mendelic acid affected individuals has a tall lanky marfanoid body type in marfanoid body individuals are having long extremities okay so it is seen with men syndrome and uh, patient have narrow face and muscular wasting as well we can do genetic test okay then hormone levels in blood and urine are been tested and sometimes imaging test like ct scan mri ultrasound all that we can do for diagnosis okay and for the treatment there is surgical tumor removal which we can do and often surgeons remove the thyroid gland drugs are given according according to the symptoms and there is no particular cure basically doctors do the symptomatic treatment only whichever gland is involved they treat it to resolve the issue right so this was all about men syndrome please hit the like button if you have liked the video and do share it with your friends thanks for watching see you soon